My name is Marie Justine. I was born on September 26, 1951. Alla, A L L A, 62248. Angeline Deline. I was born May 7th, 1964. My name is Stella Deacon. I was born in France, March 26, 1951. I was born the 19th of December. I grew up in Guyana, South America. Chupa, on November 20, 1941. I grew up in a very working class neighborhood in the Bronx. Castle Hill Avenue. I grew up mostly in Staten Island. My father worked as a longshoreman, so there wasn't really a lot of money. My time was more honesty, purity, sincerity, much more respect for authority. It's different countries, different time. At one point, it was much better than my grandchildren have. And another point, it was worse because we used to live one room, five My people. grandkids, they kind of have a lot more things than we had. When I grew up in Haiti, we didn't have much, but we were happy. In my time, you didn't have so much of a um, knowledge of things. So I think um, you had to create something, which it was good because it made you become creative. But today, I think the society, there's so much technology, so much knowledge. I was always playing outside with other children. After school, we can go swimming. We play with our friends. We play games, but not on a screen or anything. I don't know which one is better, but uh, it's a different world. Like the way I see children growing up here, they have what they need, they have everything, but I don't think it's a happy the life. The lifestyle that I grew up in was totally different, coming into a society where there's freedom of religion, there's freedom of speech. I have two granddaughters and a grandson. My daughter is gay. She's married to a woman. I don't want them to feel that they're different. In this country now, it's going backwards. Kids are more aware of racial things that are happening these days. My sons grew up mostly in a Spanish neighborhood. All their friends are Spanish. The girls they dated were always Spanish. I always taught them everybody's the same. As a woman, we are faced with a lot of male chauvinistic behavior. But as a strong woman, you tend to bypass all of that and just you know, know within yourself that you have something to prove to yourself and not to someone else. They live in a upscale neighborhood. They belong to a country club. And so I don't want them just hanging with people who have money. I want them to be aware, like their mother, of the various economic situations and what's going on in the world. I would like to teach them to be honest, to be true to themselves, always be faithful to what their desires are, be a good citizen in the whole of it, you know, be someone that somebody can trust, somebody that have confidence, somebody that qualities that would let them stand out in society. To be kind to each other, to be patient, accept people for who they are and not judge other people. I want my grandchildren to grow up knowing that there's always hope. There's hope for tomorrow. It is better today. The LGBT community, the men don't have to hang out in bars anymore. They don't get arrested, the men and women, but it's still shaky. I want to teach them to be respectful, to always be responsible citizens, and to keep themselves safe from harm's way. They should have education to be 100% sure they can survive. The kids are smarter these days. They know things and they express their opinions. They talk about things a lot more than we did. Their time now is much better than my time. Every generation gets better. For me, I live every day. The people say that God gave you a chance to live once. No, the death is coming once. The life is every day. The more older I am, the more I appreciate what I have every fucking day. Excuse me, my language. <laughs>